I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacies, family. Wait and see, look like a family. All right, coming up next, a featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Jose Aldo. Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time, is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with the same height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to court. like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down.
Lance with a right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Lance flush with that right hand. That punch, no good. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Real nice body kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Trying to establish that jab once again. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Strike attempt there is blocked. He is all about that left kick to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Look at the whip action that comes with him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Aldo gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. He's got to show up the defense here, though. Nice leg kick lands. Massive head kick. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Aldo. Big kick. Such a fast leg kick. Double leg is good. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Aldo. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Under a minute now to go in this one. Just misses there with the left. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effective with it. Nice combination of jabs. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. 15 seconds. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Strong five minutes down. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He 
does it throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together. Oh, no! Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great play of big stuff in the tag. Didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high. He's going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Blocks the shot. Fight. And, up, up, and both fighters exchange in the pocket. Now his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Goes back to that left kick once again. accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Straight right hand now just misses. Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Great punch. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Aldo gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Spinning back fist. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Aldo. Ooh, blocks the shot. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, big punch land. Real quick leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. There's no give on that leg kick. What a punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just a slip there. Aldo's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Couple hammer fists there for good measure. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take any more of those types of strikes. You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lunges forward with a left there. Lee gets touched by that kick there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. He missed with that jab attempt there. There's no tell on that leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Good jab. <laughs> Checks the leg kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands. Ooh. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Beautiful kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Nice punch lands over the top. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch there. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. How good is that right hand? Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Beautiful body kick. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Right under the elbow for body kick lands. Punch over the top. 
can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And they separate. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. That's the only thing you ever see. You don't understand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such tough to even be on his feet right now. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wow. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Hands high, hands high. Big leg kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Lee. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just misses with the kick. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Under two minutes to go. Again, he's... Whoa! Ooh, diving punch lands. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done to the half guard. 
you sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice straight punch. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.